Hey guys, Fubsy here, welcome back to another video. Um, today I think I'm just going to be going over some of the things that I've been doing in my Roblox parkour shorts. Because I've had quite a few people asking about it. This is what I'm going to be going over today with you guys. So first things first, I need to do a tutorial on how to grapple dash. Grapple dashing is a core mechanic of high level players and it's just something that we do a lot and a lot of people don't know how to do it. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to grapple dash today and maybe work on a little bit of speed vaulting because a lot of people don't even know about speed vaulting which I find to be weird. So first things first right off the get go is um. You need to know how your grappler like interacts. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna focus. So if you see this, if I grapple, there's a time when I initiate the grapple and whenever it actually pulls me. It's shorter the closer that the grappler is to me and longer the further away it is. So you want to try and kind of calculate the distance so that you know when to go towards the edge. It's like if it's extra far away, I'm going to have to start further away for it to work. And if it's extra close, then I'm going to have to be really close for it to work. Sometimes it, it, it does have a bit of forgiveness if you are too close or too far away. So it's not like super difficult to time but i've seen a lot of people like jumping and then like grappling and then trying to do a dash afterward which is not effective in the slightest so what you want to do is you want to grapple and then the instant it pulls you you want to be on the edge and you want to jump so that that will initiate this which is the the beginning of your grapple dash essentially so what you want to do after that is do a quick wall run and then you want to cancel the wall run as soon as possible. Using uh, hold to wall run is the most effective way to do this because you just have to tap it and it will automatically release and you'll get much better dash MS. So that, that was a pretty good example there. So yeah, you just kind of want to do that and you can actually turn around and do it backwards. Of course, that's not a long enough wall to really do it very good. Yeah, you can turn around, you can go backwards or you can turn around and get extra speed going that direction. Either way, it's pretty helpful. So yeah, that's how grapple dashing works. If you want me to go even more in depth on like how everything actually functions, I can do that, but this should help you kind of figure out how to do it. Moving on to doing the actual speed vault here. Speed vaulting is really easy. If you look down here at, at this area of my screen, you can see that there's a little guy doing what looks like a vault animation, like this, or this, yeah. So if I hit G, that changes it back to the normal monkey vault, which is what you defaultly have equipped. But for a speed vault, you want to have this one equipped because as you can see, I hop over it much, much faster with this one equipped. So what you want to do is you actually want to do a grapple dash and then right afterward, you want to do a nice little speed vault over the edge of this wall. So like, I messed it up there, but like that. And as you can see, I instantly, like, went way faster. So it gives you a massive speed boost and can be really helpful for changing the direction of your velocity in a run. Like, it's really helpful for changing directions, especially. But it can also be used just to get speed, so keep that in mind. Now, moving on to the next part, which is actually doing the gap that I did in my most popular short with around 1.2 thousand views, which is actually the most views I've ever gotten on a single video before. So, 
what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to do a dash so we're going to want to hit that building slide jump off the edge and then do a double wall dash and then change directions and land so like what a lot of people fail on is learning how to actually do like a slide to keep your momentum basically what you want to do is you don't want to hit shift like the instant you hit the the uh, top of this building and you don't want to do it before or after like too late because then you'll lose your momentum and if you do it too early it just won't slide this is me doing it too early as you can see I just ran and this is me doing it too late I don't have enough momentum to actually get that far like i still had a lot of momentum because that one wasn't that late but i probably couldn't have made it all the way you want to time it to you take about two steps on the top of that building and then you slide right there i messed up my double wall dash but you just want to kind of angle your double wall dash to where you can get to one of those green pads afterward it, it's really not that difficult it just takes practice and precision and right here i'm failing miserably but you that's also another cool thing if you're going fast enough and you hit one of these you can actually go really really high so that that's an interesting mechanic that might come handy later i don't know but yeah that was kind of my tutorial on grapple dashes and speed vaults if you want me to go in more in depth on either of those two mechanics, uh, just leave a comment and I will try to get to it. As I said, this was requested by someone, so if you also needed help, you can thank them, I guess, because I was not planning on doing this. But yeah, I, I had a lot of fun these last couple days making all of these shorts and they've been pretty successful this has been my most successful month in my entire youtube career like i've gotten 1.8 thousand more views than i normally do and i've gained like 150 percent more subscribers i think i've gotten 12 this month which is really good and i have you guys to thank for that so I really appreciate all of you guys, and I hope that this tutorial can help you improve in Roblox Parkour. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.